Today we're going to quickly create a Dropbox app in order to back up XBMC slash Cody. It works in both via the backup app to Dropbox. This works with a free Dropbox account. Preface this by saying you need a Dropbox account, so I already signed up for that bad boy because I'm not going to do that in this how to here. But I will show you how to download the backup app. This is in the default repository, so this is default theme. This is all like I just flush this programs, get more backup, alphabet quarter, install. Now you're going to jump to your browser, so choose your weapon of choice here. As you see, I'm going to share this link that has the steps. Uh, it's my little cheat sheet. You can just Google Dropbox, and I'll tell you the URL here in a second. Just Google Dropbox developers, or even I think Dropbox, but it's going to be one of these little site links here, App Console. Go ahead and click on that puppy. Create app. As you see, I already have a couple of these bad boys in the works. Dropbox API app. Files and data stores. I would just do the yes here. Go ahead and name it. Sorry, I have two names. I'm just going to name this Test Cody DB. So that's Dropbox. Create app. Uh, note your app secret here. I'm not going to blur this out because this thing is going to be deleted. But you want to note your app secret, your app key. You notice that little message at the top that your app was already created. I don't believe we need to do the drop ins or the webhooks. Let me uh, reference my cheat sheet here. Yes. So yeah, let's just grab the app secret and the app key. We're going to hop back over to Cody. So now this is enabled. So you can just jump out, hit escape till you get to the main programs. Now you're going to see it here, backup. Actually hit C on backup because we need to go and add on settings. That's just going to, and you can save it to your local machine. But what we're going to do is change this to Dropbox. So just toggle this top here. Dropbox, your Dropbox key here. So we have our app secret, app key. This is going to be app key. So I'm going to grab that and Dropbox key. Go ahead and hit enter. Paste that puppy. And again, I'm changing this. Use your own Dropbox key. You don't need to be saving the, my Dropbox. Dropbox secret, app secret. So yeah, all we're doing is syncing this up so that we can, oh, I think I just pasted the same thing. Let me make sure I did. So those align. Go ahead and hit done there. Compress archives. These options are similar for everything. I use, I'm pretty much full on my Dropbox. I actually don't use this. I just set it up because I thought it was cool. But uh, you can compress archives. That's just going to zip them up. Backups to keep, I wouldn't do zero. It's just going to flush your computer. You might want to do 10, especially because you're probably going to manually run these. So just do 10. Then, you know, the display, whatever. Leave that alone. So now we're all set up. We have our app key. We have our developer app that is set. We have the number of backups. And note that where this is saved, it's going to save it to that specific file, so within Dropbox. That'll be pretty intuitive if you've used Dropbox or a computer for any part in your life. So that's already taken care of. So go ahead and hit OK. Let's save those settings. Now, when I just activate this, it's going to give me the previous option, backup and restore. Let's go ahead and back up. And it's going to say, oh, man, there's an error. So once you get this error, you need to leave this up. We're going to check our Cody log. Uh, you can check this in XBMC again. It works in both. I have XPMC on a different machine that I actually use this backup system for. So what you need to make sure first is that you have hidden files visible on your machine because we're going to hop into our hidden file app data folder here in a second. So if you don't have hidden files visible on your machine, you're going to need to do that with the quickness. So I'm just going to open up a new file explorer here. 
and then I am going to go into my C drive. All I'm looking for is where my users folder is. So typically my name, so you can see that path up there, Windows C drive, users, your name, not my name. You're going to be in your app data folder. Go ahead and pick your roaming folder. Uh, we're looking for our Cody log, so look for the word Cody. See, I love when everything was XBMC because it's always at the bottom. Uh, now we're going to look for our Cody log. So Cody is open. Um, again, I want you to leave this little oops, it messed up thing up just for certainty that this is going to work. Go ahead and open this in your uh, text editor of choice. I am going to open this in Notepad++. What we're looking for is when that error triggers, there is a Dropbox URL and it's a secure site. And just go ahead and close out of this. Again, this is constantly being updated because Cody is running in the background. And what I'm looking for here is I'm going to go ahead and hit Control F and just search for the word Dropbox. And there it is. So you're looking for this URL right here. So go ahead and highlight that. So you can search for Dropbox or you can look for notice script.xbmc backup, blah, 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 authorized. Just look for Dropbox. Um, copy that. Hop over to your weapon of choice, which mine is typically Chrome. Not always. Not that in love with it. So all I did was paste in my web address bar. You want to allow Trevor's Cody. Success. All right. We both rock. Jump back into your Cody install. And now that it's authorized, you can click on OK. You see it? Voila. Now you're backing up. Again, where that app was created is where these will be stored. But they are going to be stored via the cloud. Uh, I would do 10 backups unless you pay for Dropbox. And you might want to ramp it up. Or if you tell all your friends about Dropbox. So if you're signing up for Dropbox, you know, let me know. Maybe I can get some additional data, but that's how you take care of that. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.